Okay, so I stumbled upon this really interesting video from the PC Security Channel. It's a really good channel. Um, I recommend you watching some of their videos. Um, but basically, it's looking at the uh, DNS queries um, of Microsoft, like servers and stuff like that. Um, so with this program called Wireshark, you can actually see all the traffic um, and also the domain names so that you can see, you know, it's Microsoft or, uh, or whatever it may be. Um, so I thought in the video, uh, he said like, you know, you could get these down if you, you know, disable some stuff like that. And so I thought, um, I'll see, you know, how, how far can we go? Can we get this down to be no communication with the Microsoft servers? Um, just using, um, my Windows script and um, getting things down really clean. So basically, I'm going to do um, three runs of five minutes on regular Windows, LTSC, and Enterprise, um, and just to see the uh, traffic on just like stock Windows, no um, tweaks or anything. And then we'll go and see. Um, how low we can get this, uh, or if we can get this to be absolutely nothing. So let me get on the virtual machine and we'll do that now. Okay, so we're just on stock 22H2. Uh, you can see here, um, 22H2, uh, it's just Windows 10 Pro, you can see right there. Um, just vanilla, no tweaks, this is like a fresh install. So I'm gonna download um, Wireshark and let it go for five minutes and see how much traffic we get. So by the way, if you want to do this on your own system and see uh, what kind of traffic you're getting, uh, this is the program, it's just Wireshark. Uh, just do the Windows installer. Okay, so now that we have it open, um, basically we're just going to select Ethernet because that's our network uh, adapter that we're using on here. And you can actually see a tiny little graph um, some activity and then uh, up here we're just going to type DNS so that we can filter by only DNS uh, queries and then we're just going to hit this little like fin to start capturing and so it's 1043 so we're going to let this run for five minutes and we'll see what happens okay so it's been about five minutes and you can see we have a ton of traffic um, so let's look at some of these. So we have Bing, um, MSN is a Microsoft server, so uh, we have another Microsoft here, um, some more Xbox stuff, some Edge, Edge Skype. Um, we have lots of Microsoft stuff, basically all this is Microsoft. Um, so keep in mind, some of these could be update servers um, and stuff like that, but other other things like this, like um, we have weather, so that's like telemetry, um, some other stuff that looks really weird, like, you know, this looks weird, um, some delivery optimization stuff, which is updates. Um, but yeah, so we have lots of packets, and um, it's displayed 60 of these um, back and forths, uh, like DNS queries. Uh, so now we'll go on to LTSC and see if this is like any lower. Alright, so now we're on LTSC. Um, you can see right down, down here it says LTSC, and also we can go to Winver. Uh, 21H2 LTSC. Um, should also be noted that all these installs have everything here disabled. So all the privacy settings are disabled. Uh, diagnostic data, inking and typing, all that stuff. Um, so potentially there could be more if you leave these on, but I'm pretty certain that these actually don't do anything. Um, you can check them or uncheck them. It, doesn't change any actual setting 
um, but I thought that should be noted that these are unchecked for all of these tests. So we're going to look at um, LTSC and see if it's uh, any better. Alright, so it's been a little while. Um, you can see even on LTSC we still have a lot of communication, a lot of traffic just sitting on the desktop doing nothing. Um, I think actually it's displaying more than it was on vanilla, but um, you come down here, I believe a Windows update triggered, so yeah, Windows update, um, and I think on the regular one, uh, there was no Windows update, but we can see basically all of this is starting from... Starting from here, maybe. Um, triggered a Windows update. Actually, oh, all the way up here. Yeah, so a lot of traffic when updating Windows, which is to be expected. Um, it's not necessarily telemetry or anything bad, but you may not want all this traffic just happening whenever. Um, especially if you're on pretty bad network connection this could potentially lag um, yeah your internet um, but everything else most of this is not really telemetry we have some edge stuff um, but yeah most of this stuff is fine it's not really directly telemetry uh, but obviously we still have communication with Microsoft st servers just sitting on the desktop. So I'm going to go to Enterprise and see if that's any better. Alright, so now we're on Enterprise. Um, this is actually... I'll just go to Winver real fast. Um, this is actually 22H2 um, Enterprise. You can't really download this from... Microsoft. Um, if you want to know how I got this ISO, I could probably, I don't know, upload it to Google Drive or make a video on how you can get um, like the latest version of like server and LTSC and Enterprise and stuff like this um, and get like the actual ISO file, not, not just like update. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so this is Enterprise. It's pretty similar to server. Um, I mean, pretty similar to LTSC, but we do have Office and the store. Uh, we also have Cortana. I don't, I'm not sure. Yeah, I guess LTSC has Cortana. But yeah, we do have some, um, a little bit of bloat, you know, not as, not as much as regular Windows, but, um, it's pretty clean. It's not a bad, uh, Windows ISO, but yeah, we're going to look at, um, the traffic on here now. Alright, so this has been sitting here for some time. You can see we have a lot less on Enterprise. Um, I think this is because this is fully up to date and so the Microsoft update server is not um, firing, but let's actually take a look at that. So we're going to check for updates. Um, and there is a couple security update. Let's see if that um, triggers anything. So yeah, a couple things. So we're not going to hit install now, but because this is like a really up-to-date up version of Windows, um, I believe that that's why we're seeing less here, but we do, so now we're getting some stuff, we have Office 365, we have Teams, it could be an update server, um, we have a Edge update, Bing always, always fires for some reason, um, so yeah, not, not too bad on Enterprise, uh, is definitely looking pretty good. So now let's um, let's go back to regular Windows and see if we can get this down to.
basically nothing. Alright, so now we're back on uh, regular Windows, you can tell because it's all, all the bloat and stuff. Uh, and we're just going to go through my script and see if we can uh, get the communication down to like basically nothing. So we're just going to go through hit this. Um, if you're interested in this script, there's already a video posted. Uh, so you can do that um, yourself. So we're just going to do everything that I think will make a difference to this. Alright, so we're back, we have Wireshark, um, and we're going to see if we have any communication. Alright, so this has been sitting here for like six minutes or so, you can see there's literally nothing here. Um, oh, as soon as I clicked, I got something, so um, that's interesting. Yeah, let me, let me uh, look up what this uh, DNS server. Okay, so w, uh, WDCP is some sort of like Windows Defender um, server. <coughs> and so I was like, that's weird because it should be disabled. But actually, for some reason, the service is still running. Um, so I'm going to try and disable that properly um, and see if we can get rid of that. So yeah, basically, I'm just going to go back through here and disable Defender again. Um, there may have been, uh, if you see the little thing flash, like the little window flash, it's running a batch file in the background. Um, it may have not ran it for some reason or something. Um, so we're just going to, we're going to try this again and see if it'll work. Okay, so yeah, running it again, um, fix the issue. We can see now the um, Defender service is not running. So yeah, if that ever happens, I guess, just run it again should work. Um, so yeah, let's take another look at the traffic with that properly uh, disabled. Alright, so this has been sitting here for a while now, and <laughs> it's literally no packets, like there's not any traffic whatsoever. Um, to any DNS protocol, so that's pretty crazy. Um, so yeah, even on even on uh, like stock Windows, uh, you can get telemetry down and communication down to basically nothing. Now, of course, if we like open something, let's see if I can get it to trigger. Like maybe if we try to open updates, yeah. So. You can see even even though updates is disabled and it's you know bugged out, even just opening this um, sends some queries uh, to Microsoft servers. So regardless of what you do, um, there's no way to completely get rid of uh, telemetry. Uh, if you want to get rid of telemetry completely probably better off using a different operating system so yeah hopefully you found this uh, interesting and um, something to try on your system to see if you can get it down to you know absolutely nothing kind of like how I got it on here